Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ali. If you're new to us and if you're returning, thanks for the view and coming back. Brave. Um, the lighting is a bit on the shocking side. I was going to put my light on, but it tends to turn everything quite yellow. You can see my back room here, it's quite a yellow light, so I thought I'd go with this. So, seeing as we're on the dark theme, let's stick with it. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing which is pretty much true of me all of the time. If you've been on the channel before, you'll know this. And if you haven't been on the channel before, well, welcome to the gates of hell. <laughs> but today, what I'm thinking we're gonna do, because I love Halloween. It's my birthday month. Everybody loves Halloween these days. It's pumpkin spice lattes and all this stuff. It's very, very popular. Um, so obviously if you're in the YouTuber community or you watch YouTube, you'll notice everybody goes nuts, especially the Americans for uh, this time of year. But everybody starts to go OTT with the Halloween um, hauls, obviously, because people are getting stuff sent and people are buying stuff. I, however, don't. Not because I don't love Halloween, it's because I tend to collect items all through the year that could be portrayed in a costume to Halloween theme. So let's put it this way, most of the stuff is individual and some of the pieces are definitely Halloween pieces, I don't think you're going to get away with them anywhere else, but because I do shoots and stuff like that I also collect items, so I wanted to show you some of the Halloween stuff that I have or the Halloween looks that I would do, but I didn't, these are themes, these are to give you inspiration. Some of these items have been thrifted, some of these items have been gifted, some of these items I've had for years so I won't be able to trace them for you, uh, and some of the items are, are recent and I will be able to trace them for you, so I'm just giving you that big heads up there now. This is not one of those videos where I have had the items gifted to, you know, like sent from the brand or I've bought them all from one area and you can just click the links and go shopping. This is one that's more an inspiration. And who doesn't need more inspiration when it comes to Halloween? So, if you are new to the channel, I do random crap on this channel. I haven't got any really set parameters. I generally make whatever content I have content for. So if I'm doing this, it's because I've got the time and that it's something I want to do. Uh, if I'm doing crafting, it's because that's the other half of my business and that's what I do. So I'm showing you what goes on. If you'd like to if you'd like to see more and carry on watching the video, good on you. If you like the video and you'd like to give it a thumbs up, I would be ecstatic. Uh, so would my thumbs. And if you'd like to subscribe and join the clan, uh, just pop onto the subscribe button. And also you can press the notifications bell and it will give you a heads up on when I'm about. So let's get into this first outfit. And I'm hoping when I drop you down, you'll be okay. So just bear with me. If you've been on this channel before, you will have seen this necklace and probably this dress recently. So this dress is a recent purchase. I'm just showing you what I'm wearing. I've literally worn this out for work today. But this is a recent purchase and this is from Sheen. Um, and it's, it's a beautiful dress. So it's not with the top underneath. This is a separate item and this came from Sheen as well. They come as a knicker and top set in different colors. These do so I'll show you the links down below. I'm not going to show you the top half without the dress on because uh, that's none of your business. You don't need to see that. No one needs to see that one. But this dress uh, came separately and it is beautiful. I absolutely love the, the shape of the neck and the back. Again, if anybody knows the name of this particular neckline, let me know because I don't know what it's called. And I just paired it with the stretch net top because I love these. I feel really comfortable. It's been a really nice sort of warm autumnal day today. Not sunny all the time, not rainy all the time, but really nice. I was going to, I would wear this normally by the way, this is not just a witchy look for me, I would wear this normally. But if you were going to go out for Halloween and you wanted to wear it as a witchy look, I would pair it with something on a belt, a belt stance close to this sort of thing, chains and everything. Um, this one, I couldn't tell you where I got this one from. It's been with me for years, I have broken it, you can see I've broken it like a hundred times, I've re-sewn it, I've done all sorts with it. So I can't tell you where this one came from, 
but you can have a look on places like Disturbia, EMP, it might have been an EMP one, um, and even put it into Sheen as like chain belts and see what you can come up with. You know, once I get this on, there's a good chance I won't get it off. There we go. So you can pair it with a belt like that. I do have a couple of other options here. So this one I think I did get from Sheen. And this is a simple like O-ring style belt. Very long with the strap. So that gives you a bit more, you know, scope to go with. But I like it when it sort of, I like it when the strap hangs down a bit too. This one did have that. Um, but I had a bit of an accident with it in its early years and I lost that. So, which way am I going? I'm going up, I'm going up. Do you know, I get some grief about how I film these videos. Do it in land, uh, portrait, not landscape. I'm like, have you seen any, anyone on YouTube? I've gone through the channels after somebody mentioned this to me and I was like, okay, let's take a look at other people. And nobody, I haven't found one person that is filming it that way. And I can't film it that way in this, you know, but like I've said, I've explained it, but I give up explaining it. So this is kind of like the whole witchy look I would go for. Again, besides the hat, and this hat was from Amazon. Now I have tried to link that in and for some reason I can't because I get up and it will like. So these are very uh, prominent on Amazon. So all you'd have to do is put in the um, search engine saying, you know, witchy hat, witchy black hat, fabric witchy black hat, whatever. Felted sometimes will work as well. Uh, the belt, like I said, was thrifted, thrifted, so I don't actually know where that's from. This is from Sheen and was bought quite recently, so I can link that in for you. This dress was bought from Sheen and that was ordered, that was bought quite recently as well, so I can link that in for you. The necklace is one of my own creations and we do sell similar necklaces on Ruth and Ali Makes uh, and some of the newer products are on the store so if you're in the UK and you go to the Makers Markets in Trenton or Sandbach or there's a, there's a store of them but if you are about we do these sorts of necklaces you can always message me as well we don't unfortunately ship out of the UK yet but we are looking at doing that for next year so I really love this. And this, like I said, this top from Sheen comes with a cheeky pair of this in the exact same fabric. So you, you can see why you wouldn't be showing those off. But the length is really nice. You just, if I drop you down all the way down to the bottom. Look at that, look at that control from that camera. The boots, I think we're from Amazon, I think but I bought these well over probably a couple of years ago. Um, and the tights you can find pretty much anywhere if you want to get tights, but I think these were from Next and I ripped them up quite a bit. They're good ones for winter. But it's, it's a nice look and it's really relaxed. So really for me, adding the hat is the main bit that makes it witchy. So you guys would have seen this dress and the last one in a recent, very recent haul. I've kept the same tights on. I'm happy with these tights and these boots, but I think I would be happy as well if you wanted to do the full black look. I put some black net, fishnet tights on if you were doing this kind of look as well. Um, I've done the ribbons up. So these are this again is from Sheen and I've done it very recently so I can link it in. But this one I think is, as I was saying in the last video that I showed this on, it's, uh, it's just about themed enough to pull off doing a costume with, but also not themed too much that you could wear it as a normal every day. Well, maybe not every day, but going out dress. So I have actually cut the ribbon, uh, the, the ribbons. Last time I tried it on, they were like trailing along the floor. So I've just cut them and then tied them as bows. This is adjustable here. I have shown it before. It is adjustable, so you can pull it tighter or go looser. As per usual, I have literally just come in from work and had my lunch, so that was an excellent time to try clothing on, so excuse the, uh, the pooch. But that would be how I'd kind of go for it on a casual level, for witchiness. I am not hating, I'm not hating this top part, am I, am I not, what do we think, do we think it works? does it work or is it just too much going on I think if you were doing a witchy look again you can just add things like your hat your jewelry you can change out for a moon necklace or something like that we have loads of different 
different style necklaces and things, but I make necklaces for part of my living, so I have absolutely masses of them. <laughs> but you know what I mean, like themed ones. So if I show you, I've got ones like these. I will link all the shops. These are not one of ours. These are one of Phoebe's. I will link her shop in down below as well. Um, but that's Labrada, right? Beautiful little hand done one there. Then we've got ones like these, which are mine. Um, we've got resin ones from Ruth. We've got all sorts, but you can pair your own. But I'll put the links, like I said, to everything I can get in the bottom. And then all you do is that you lick a pat and you're away with another witch hoop. You need your broom. Now I do actually have two different types of brooms. Can I find either of them? Can I heck as like? So also thinking about it, you could do your witchy look for this one. You could leave this on or take it off and you could do a vampire look. So this would work for a vampire look as well because these have been very in. But if anybody has something similar to this, you know, like one of your skirts with your tool over the top of it, you can always, again, I have not seen what this looks like. And if it's a cold night, this will help you heat up a little bit. But I'm tempting to put this underneath. Now, if I go massively static in a second, that would have buggered this video well and truly. I don't know what this is gonna, oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe. Let's have a look, let's see what you guys think. Okay, let's, let's try going down further. <laughs> Then you can tell me what you think. So you could add another, oh, actually, I like that. Yeah, I actually like that. So you could add another layer underneath and use this as your overskirt. So it makes it that bit, bit more witchy and it gives you another layer. So you can get these online very easily. I can't remember where I got this one from. Uh, it was at least a good couple of years ago but they are very much in fashion at the moment and you can get these very easily from pretty much any retailer I think. Now it would be pretty cool as well if you like a colour and you're not wanting to go all black you could do like dark purple or red or something underneath and they pair up quite, quite nicely that looks cool actually I'm, I'm with this as well. I wasn't thinking of dressing as a witch this year. I might. So, as I drop you down. Now, I wouldn't wear a necklace with it if I've got one of these bralettes on that has one of these attachments. Well, maybe I would. I'm going to leave it there. This one's going to be an interesting one. So, like, this is the skirt that I wore before, either earlier or later on, depending on where I've edited things but I have worn this before underneath another velvet black dress on another witchy look. You can get these pretty much anywhere, but I have placed it underneath a corset. Now this corset was thrifted, let me see. So I have been with my fellow about eight years, seven to eight years. He bought it for me at a biker rally. Um, so it's probably about six or seven years old. I cannot find out more than that for you it was bought at a biker rally so but my corset is a mixture it's a mixed leather one and it has a little pouch if you can get these you can get these again online and um, there's uh what's it called uk corsets and all this sort of stuff where you can get them from it's a traditional tie back corset zip up the front i would have to try this one after i've eaten tea like lunch that's a bad idea but this is what it does and underneath i believe that this bralette was from killstar I will double check, but I think it was either Killstar or Disturbia that I've had this bralette from. If I can find the links for it, I will pop it down below. Uh, just a heads up, if you are a big busted like I am, you may need to size up in their bralettes. This one was a bit snug and I'm not going to bother sending it back for that. And again, the jacket was from, it's not even a jacket, it's a shirt that they sold on Boohoo. Uh, and they were out of stock in every size bar and it's size 8 and I'm obviously not the size 8. So. I use it as a jacket, but it is the perfect look. I would probably go more vampire for this one. Definitely go more vampire for this one, I think. So yeah, I really like this one. I mean, it's not an everyday outfit, and God, if I tried to sit down in this right now, I'd probably pop, but it's, it's a good witchy one. Oh, or a good vampire one. I would, 
I don't even like the idea of the vampire one, but it's got a super cool hood on. Like a hat. Yeah. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. Do you know, I've spent the longest time not being able to get. I could always get into this corset because the back's so wide because of the strings. This is now on its tightest. I can't fasten it any tighter than it is. Um, and it actually feels like it fits me properly for once. So, yeah. LA, what do you think? What do you guys think? Anyway, it's to give you ideas. It reminds me a bit of with the hat Van Helsing. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a love or hate relationship with that film, isn't it, really? Let me know which side you are in the comments. Do you love the Van Helsing film or do you hate the Van Helsing? Guys, I'm still in the same outfit that I was a minute ago for the Van Helsing question. I just thought I could dress it up a little bit more. So let me know what you think. This, I believe, you know the skirt I just showed you? It's the same style skirt, but a different color and it has stars all over it. And I played around with it. So I got this from Sheen, I think, and I will try and find the links for you, but you can again, you can find these all over the place. It did have a velour, velvet inside skirt and I hated it so I cut it out in the aim of using it as an over skirt which is what I'm about to do I'm going to attempt to put this over but under the corset so this could be painful I'll take the hat off the hat can come off I don't know what to do isn't it and um, the other thing is I also have this one which again I think is from Sheen and um, again you can find a substitute it's just a little um, very soft net top, black cap sleeve, soft net top. And I was thinking, see, it's not indecent without the jacket, it was just moving. Yeah. Um, I was thinking if I can put this either over, oh, damn it, white labels, put white labels, white labels in a black top. Um, let me just check. Did you enjoy my chin? Thing? It was Sheen, and this was a size large. I think I can track this one down for you as well because this wasn't like ages ago. Let's cut that out. So you could do something similar to this. Instead of having a little jacket, if you wanted to keep yourself a bit more covered, you could pop but show off the neck detail and everything on the bralette. You could put it, pop it over your corset so you've got texture, mixture of texture. So let's just drop that down. So you can have a mixture of texture. Again, I really like that. In fact, I really like that just for me to wear. But yeah, I just can't sit down in it <laughs> without sort of getting rid of every breath in my body. Let me see if I can get this skirt on as well without making a complete cock up of it. Okay. Whew. Right. Ooh, oh. oh, hang on, you, you do actually need to see the bottom of this. Because it's a hanky hem, see? Because this one, this top layered skirt is a hanky hem, but the bottom is a straight, it, it shows off the layers. So you show the black underneath as well. You're not gonna, hang on, let me see how about, oh no, I managed to get down to that. Um, you're not gonna be flashing anybody at the back and everything, but I actually really like this. In fact, we're doing a market stall. I'm not on this next one this weekend, but I will be on the one not next weekend, the weekend after at Trenton. And I think I might wear this because me and Ruth want to do some witchy stuff with the stall. But this is so cute. Well, my kind of cute. What do you guys think? It's just ideas. So if you can get hold of or have these in your wardrobe from even through the year, because I wear the black one all through the year and I wear this for weddings. So if you have them through your wardrobe, you just it's just a matter of layering them up and making something out of them. Um, this one would be good for a witch, a sort of gothic fairy. So if you've got wings, you could stick a gothic fairy on the back. You could do this one as a vampire if you wanted to, but if it was me, I think I'd be really tempted to put the pointy ears on and go as an elf. Usually what I would end up doing is putting in my coloured dread, whatever colours I'm vibing at the time, but put my wool dreads in and then put my elf ears on. And that's, that's a good one for me. I love this top overwards. You can, could actually, I think, 
probably. This again is me being lazy instead of unzipping the corset and putting it in the corset. But you could do it the other way around, so you could do it like this. So you could have the corset over the top and have the net underneath, but I actually really, really like it like that. I think that looks so cool. And if I could sit down on, with this, like this, on a regular basis, I would wear this more. Um, it's certainly not after having your lunch. Schoolgirl error. Schoolgirl error. Right, let me know what you think about this outfit. Which one would you go? Would you go for a witch with this outfit? A fairy? An elf? Or a vampire? Or give me something new give me something new and I know this isn't going to be in time for Halloween but if you guys have seen anything here or give me a topic you know like within reason if you say elf or something what I'll do is in the comments box below if you want to or you can find me on Instagram you can put in suggestions of what themed creature you'd like to see so if you want to see an elf or a vampire or whatever um, and it doesn't have to be Halloween themed or it could you be just Halloween themed? Whatever you like. And see if I can come up with an outfit from my wardrobe um, that would fit that budget. Let's try and keep it clean. I do know that some of you might push that boundary, but let's try and keep it clean. Okay, okay guys. I did that thing where I thought I was filming and I wasn't filming. I, I had to take you down off the ledge that you're on to sort of readjust and fix you. I put the camera down on the side to refix and I must have pressed the record button so I was now recording me fixing the stand <laughs> and then I went to press record again thinking I wasn't on record and it just completely didn't record any of the stuff I needed it to. So I'm going to do it again. Uh, bear with me two seconds as my drink is leaking hot off the side. So this is going to be a bit in reverse. This technically what I'm wearing now is not what I would call a Halloween outfit. It has got a Halloween outfit underneath that is very Halloween. So, I was saying, this is a new purchase, literally within the last three days from Disturbia. I love it. I have, this is in order to show you how you could wear the outfit underneath as an everyday, or at least in your October month, September, October month, you could wear this as an everyday kind of outfit. This is how I would dress it. But basically, I am going to, I wasn't going to show this, I'm going to show it in another haul, basically. Basically, basically, basically. Um, but I'm going to show you now because I've got it on me. So this is from Disturbia. It is a very 90s skater. I love it. Absolutely love it. This is an uh, extra large. Now, I could have gone down to a large. I got a little confused on the sizing. It said the model at the time was wearing, she was a size 8 and she was wearing a large in the picture to show an oversized look. So I thought, well, I'm a size 14. I'm definitely gonna need an extra large. Not really. This is where I am. This is where this is. I could go down a size and I would be absolutely fine. I'm just gonna drop you down and you will see a little of the costume. Ah, you see. So this is how, uh, I haven't really got the right boots for it. But I'm gonna stick my other ones back on. Give me two secs. I'm really well organised. Does anybody notice that? I am, oh. I'm certainly going, I'm really well organised as a joke as I'm putting my boot on the wrong foot. <laughs> I have no explanation these days for me. Um, this hoodie is brilliant. It's not thick, so you could have this. It's proper kind of skater style hoodie. It's like a canvasy material. I know it's not really what the theme I was on at the moment, but I'm showing you anyway. Thin lining inside. It has a zip up at the front. It has the little toggles, wood toggles on the side. It has a zip open embroidered pocket. Loving this guys, by the way. Nice one to show you. Uh, you have two bucket pockets here. I know the lighting's bad, but they have little uh, Coraline style buttons on there. And they are both functioning as well. It's really lightweight, but it does a good coverage. I'm nice and warm in this at the moment. But in winter or autumn, colder autumn, you can stick the room under here to put layers and jumpers and stuff. So it would work for that. The hood is a really nice fit. 
it's a nice sort of shape that comes in there as well. I really, really love this and I love it when they do this. So I am thoroughly just over here. Well done. Um, this cost, because I bought it so recently, I can actually tell you. So it is on the site at £60, but at the moment it was, or was when I bought it, reduced down to 50 This, to me, is worth it because I know I will wear it over and over again. And it is good quality. You know, when you buy things off, I might have said in the before about Kill Stop, love the style, love it, but the price point doesn't meet the quality of the materials and sewing that they're doing. And now, if the quality of the materials and sewing went up a bit, that price point would meet, that price point would meet. If their quality, uh, if their price went down to meet the quality of the goods that they were making, that would be better. So this, I don't mind paying 50 quid for because I know I'll wear it over and over again and it's sturdily made and I, I just love it. If I went and got something from, now if I paid 30 quid for this, it would, I'd be like, yes, bargain. I wish it was 30 quid because I would have bought two <laughs> in different sizes but it's not right let's get back onto the original so this will give you a hint of what the costumes like underneath uh, this one is from fashion Nova, um, and i bought it about two years ago so the idea was how to show you and i did do this in the correct order earlier i showed you the outfit first and then i put the hoodie on and showed you how you could dress it up and wear it a few more times than normally you'd be able to because i like to get the wear out of my clothing this is I will give you the disclaimer that I gave you at the original one that did not film. I have eaten. I'm wearing the wrong underwear as I have finished work. I've just given you a Miss Piggy face. My hair's gone everywhere and this is a very fitted outfit. I would say it's actually extraordinarily comfortable, but it's very figure hugging. I have worn this. I've had it for about two years and I've worn it for two Halloweens in succession to get the wear out of it because it is a proper Halloween costume is how I know that uh, you can adapt it because I've done it, I've been wearing them outside of Halloween. So this is very fitted. Um, if you're not kind in the comments, then you're not a kind person and I don't really give a crap. But if you, you know, have your lumpy bumpy bits, this might make you feel a bit conscious uh, getting this one. I think you could either get an adaptation of this, a different version of this. It probably still is on Fashion Over. Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova. Does that sound wrong? Fashion Nova. Let's just ignore that. It probably still is on there or in different styles, but I know that I bought it about a year to two years ago. Uh, but you can find these everywhere now, and I love it. I absolutely love this one. Um, I had a bit of an anxious time with Fashion Nova over the order and stuff like that, but I was happy. I was happy. One downside that I got. So you can zip this fully up and I don't mind that neckline either but I prefer to have it especially with how many layers I've got underneath at the moment under it's very very form fitting uh, you can wear shapewear underneath it I just don't and probably you'll tell me I should but I don't give a crap my body is the shape it is and I'll work with that and if I was really that bothered I'd get off my fat lazy ass and do something about it wouldn't I? So this here is where I had a product problem. It turned up and there was a rip here already. I hadn't tried it on, I hadn't done anything to it, I took it out of the package and there was a rip. So I went to try it on pinching this very cautiously. I tried it on and I liked it and I liked the fit, but I didn't want to send it back and be charged to get another one. So I've sewn it myself. It is a botch job as it were. I had limited time, time available. I'm lazy and I, this is the grey string that I had. I could have inwardly sewed it so you couldn't see it, but I couldn't be bothered. And to be honest, I kind of like the way it looks like I've got stitches. It's with the Halloween theme. The rest of it is pretty good. I don't think you like, it's not dead sheer. Um, if you wear black underwear, you're fine. Um, like I said, it's really, really comfortable. And it's also not that bad to go to the toilet. Like if you need to go to the toilet because the zip extends right down to the belly button, it's pretty maneuverable for doing that. You don't have to worry a bit too much. Worry about it too much. You can add a jacket over the top if you want to. You could do like a matrix. Um, is it New World or New Revolutions World? You know the one that I'm on about. Vampires. Um, Kate Beckinsale. I think that's the right person, I'm useless. But she, you could stick a leather trench coat over the top of this and it kind of work as that sort of thing. 
but if it was me and I want to wear this more than once a year and I'm not into wearing this kind of flamboyant you know goth or Halloween or themed wearing all year round I'm just making words up now I'd add a hoodie or one of the tie-dye massive oversized shirts that I've got and you wear it as leggings and it's perfect or you could do the alternative which is put high-waisted jeans ripped jeans or high-waisted um boyfriend jeans or something like that in black or whatever colour you prefer grey would be cool as well with ripped knees and stuff and you can wear it as a top it's whatever you want to do so that was my proper halloween themed one the rest of it is ones that i pulled from my wardrobe that i can make pretty much anything out of and i do wear it all year round this one i do try and get as much wear out of it but it's a little bit more difficult to adapt i am going to go because as you can tell the lighting has gone now we are into the evening and it's gone shocking. I would turn the light on, but it's just going to turn everything yellow. But you can see the outfit. In fact, that shows off the silver pretty nicely. It's really comfy on the legs. It's really comfy on the stretch. It was Fashion Over. I don't think I can get the links for you because I bought it so long ago. But you can search through, even on Amazon, for skeleton costumes. It'll come up with something similar. And you can have a look on the Fashion Over website. I'm sure that they would still have options, especially at this time of year. So I know that this is a bit sporadic. I know that it isn't the best channel or slash video for you to buy from, to find the places that you wanna buy from, but this wasn't the point of that video. It was to give you some inspiration and a bit of a giggle going through my wardrobe again of stuff, and to give you some inspiration that if you are short of money, or short of time, or short of both, or you've got abundance of clothes in your wardrobe, and just have a sift through and see what you can put together. Maybe you don't need to buy a whole Halloween outfit. Maybe you could buy a corset and then put everything else with it, or a hat like I have and put everything else with it, or you know, just a couple of items that are low cost for you, and then you can adapt an outfit around it. I am going to go and get my ass out of this outfit because even though it is very stretchy, I feel if I breathe out, I'm going to hulk it. And I have just had my tea or lunch, as you can tell. So thanks for coming with us on this somewhat impromptu, impromptu video, one of those right, and listening to me burble. I hope it gave you some ideas, and if not, I hope you at least had a laugh or a, or a bit of a jolly one for this one. Oh God, shoot me. Don't shoot me. If anybody literally has a problem with taking things too literally, back off. I value my life. Wah. Um, yeah. Hope you like and have a fantastic Halloween. Have a fantastic October, have a fantastic autumn wherever you are in the world and just enjoy what you've got around you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.